Hmm. Do I really need that? Hey everyone, in this video we're going to modify the exhaust system in the basket case BMW. I bought some stainless steel headers from eBay. They were really inexpensive. But they also get lots of complaints about fitment issues and O2 sensor locations. So it may take some work to get them installed. Also while I'm at it, I'm going to delete the muffler. People say the E46 muffler is pretty heavy. And I'm all about the weight reduction. Plus, the exhaust modifications should free up a few ponies. If you've seen my recent BMW videos, you already know how to remove the exhaust system. But just in case, I'll show it again. I started with these two reinforcement plates in the middle of the car. One of those plates supports the exhaust, but the other one also needs to come out because it'll be in the way. Next, I'm going to loosen the nuts that attach the exhaust system to the manifolds. There are four nuts, two on each pipe. On my car they were 15 millimeter. Now let's move back to the muffler. If your car has the vacuum operated flap in the muffler, you'll need to disconnect that vacuum line. Also there are two exhaust hangers, one on each side of the muffler. Each hanger has two nuts. You'll need to support the muffler while removing the hangers or it'll come crashing down. With the exhaust out of the car, this is a great time to modify it. Like I mentioned earlier, I decided to delete the muffler. That will remove some weight from the car and should also add a little bit of power. Basically, all I did was chop the exhaust pipes behind the small resonator. I'm also going to remove that. I think it's a vibration absorber. Okay, that's it for the exhaust system. Let's move on to the headers. Next, I'm going to remove the exhaust manifolds. On my car, the windshield washer tank, secondary air pump, and air conditioning are deleted. That leaves me a lot of room to work on the manifolds. These connectors are for the upstream O2 sensors. These are for the downstream. I'm going to disconnect all of them. Plus, I'm going to remove the upstream O2 sensors so they don't get damaged. These plugs are easy to undo. You just grab both ends and pull them apart. Also, there's this metal clip right here that holds this one bank to upstream O2 sensor wire. I'm going to unclip that. Okay, now we can remove these guys. This is difficult to see because of the heat shield in the way, but there are four bolts across the top of each manifold and another four across the bottom. Let's see if I can get the camera in there. Alright, let's do it. There's one. Fifteen more to go. Ah, uh, we pulled out a stud. Oh well. By the way, these bolts are not very tight. 
Okay, the front manifold is unbolted. Deleting the secondary air pump and the AC made things a lot easier. While I'm in here, I'm going to get that nut for the motor mount bracket. I'm pretty sure that bracket needs to come out of the way to make room for the exhaust. Okay, all the fasteners are out. The manifolds are loose. Now we need to get underneath and uh, remove that triangle brace. So let's do that. My car has the triangle brace underneath. It has four bolts all together. Two in the front, one inside here, one there, and then one on each corner in the back. I'm jacking it up by the oil pan using some wood blocks and some plywood to spread the load. Okay, I'm gonna have to remove the motor mount bracket because it's getting in the way. Right here you're looking at the bracket. That's the front manifold and catalyst. Okay, the motor mount bracket is loose. I'm not gonna completely remove it from the car. I'm just going to slide it forward a little bit so it's out of the way. Just like that. That should leave plenty of room to get the exhaust out. Also, let's not forget about the wiring for the downstream O2 sensors. We don't want that getting hung up on anything. The rear manifold is loose. I just need to finagle it out. One down, one to go. And that's two. Okay, the manifolds are out. Now we can install the headers. Like I mentioned earlier, there were lots of complaints about fitment of the headers and the O2 sensor bung placement. So I'm gonna test fit the headers in the car and see what issues I'm gonna have. By the way, the gaskets that come with the headers are basically junk. I've used that type of gasket in the past and they always leak. So I'm gonna use stock BMW gaskets instead. I just removed the heat shield part from the top. When I test fitted the headers, I found the front one interfered with the heat shield on top of the motor mount bracket. I had to tweak the heat shield to make it fit. On the rear header, both of the O2 sensor bungs were problematic. The rear one was so long it interfered with the firewall heat shield. And the front one pointed the O2 sensor at the firewall heat shield. So I shortened both of those O2 sensor bungs but the front O2 sensor was still contacting the firewall heat shield. So I made a dent in the heat shield to make some room. That did the trick. I would also like to mention that with these headers, the downstream O2 sensors become useless. So I don't see any point in trying to install them. I just plug the downstream O2 sensor bones. That also saved me the trouble of trying to install 90 degree O2 sensor fittings like I saw in some other videos. There was one last issue with the headers. My car has an automatic transmission and one of the headers was touching the side of the transmission. In order to install the exhaust, I had to loosen up the header mounting nuts and pull the header away from the transmission a little bit. Then I attached the exhaust to the headers and retightened the header mounting nuts. To make things a little easier on myself, I used a couple jack stands to hold up the exhaust while I attach it to the headers. And here is the finished product. I'll be honest, I'm glad this job is finished.
zip tie DO2 sensor wiring out of the way to keep it off the manifolds. The downstream O2 connectors are just clipped into here for now. They're not being used anymore. I don't know about you, but I was curious to see how much weight was removed from the exhaust system. So I weighed the stock manifolds, then weighed the headers before installing them. The headers were almost 14 pounds lighter. I also weighed the muffler after removing it, and it was about 35 pounds. So the exhaust modifications removed almost 50 pounds from the car. And last but not least, let's hear what the modified exhaust sounds like compared to stock. Okay, that's it for this video. See you next time.